No. Here we are. Time changed. We didn't. <laughs> didn't we like lose an hour of our life or something? I don't remember. I think we back. gained an extra hour, but in 2020, it feels like, you know, that's yeah. It, yeah, it that's just less. what I need another hour this freaking year. So I've got a story to tell you that mm-hmm. um, inevitably I'm going to be my own worst enemy and get myself killed. Okay. That, that's a fact. So I go to Home Depot this weekend and I take my electric golf cart down there and I go and get my whatever stuff and I'm loading stuff into the trunk and I'm sure everybody who has ever gone to a shopping center has had this experience at some point or another. Somebody comes up to you and asks you money for gas and you always know that their story is probably completely fake or whatever. Okay. Like it's, so this guy comes up, he's like, hey man, can I have some money for gas? And I was real polite. I was like, no. It's like, I don't, first off, I don't even know if I had any cash on me. I don't carry much sure. anyways. And I was like, no, I said, not today. Sorry. I said, good luck. And he goes, is that a Tesla? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, I hear those things catch on fire. And I said, yeah, but they don't run out of gas. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty good. It's pretty it is. Good. I laughed the whole way home yeah. thinking about how I never A lot of times, it. you know, you don't think of that line, you know, right <laughs> then. You think of it later. Yeah. It's always the worst, you know. In the shower. But yeah. I told this story in one of our the premium newsletters, but yeah, a couple of years ago, we were going over that sushi place we used to go to in Dedham, and I had my old, the other BMW at the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, we come out to the car, and these knuckleheads, you know, cause Massachusetts, right? So these knuckleheads pulled into the parking space next to me and they were like literally over the line into my spot. So I couldn't open my door without hitting their car and I could probably barely fit into the car. So I was like, guys, like they're literally walking away. And I'm mm-hmm. like, do you think you could move your car so I could get into my car? <laughs> I'm like, what do you, and they kind of looked at it and they didn't say anything. They got, they got in the car and they moved it. So I got in my car and I rolled down the window and said, I to wave. Thanks. And this is what the guy said to me. He goes, enjoy your BMW. Like I had, you know, like like the king had arrived and yeah. made a declaration or something. Like you, you're parking like an idiot. <laughs> anyway, in that case, I had nothing to say to that. I was just dumbfounded by this response. Like, and that, Brad, is why I take pictures of people parking incorrectly I mean, to this do, day. You do that. I, I have noticed that. That's, is... that's my revenge, is I'm going to like passively, aggressively fix this problem. That and your dog in a, a river um, that I was... Dude, I do the <laughs> same thing every day. There's nothing else. I just always imagine, though, that your dog is fishing. Like, one day you're waiting for him to catch, like, a trout, and then that's going to be your dinner. <laughs> Actually, we have seen like really big fish in there, but um, no, that that little thing she sits in is like a I don't even call it like an eddy or something. It's like a little calm area because it the rocks are around it or whatever. But I'm telling you, if if that dog had like a longer leash, mm-hmm. she's already caught a chipmunk. Like she would catch she like launches at squirrels, rabbits, other dogs, some actually humans, buses. She doesn't like buses. I don't know why. The buses is a... this this animal is was bred to be a killer. They're like there's no doubt about it. She was. Somebody trained her to kill things. Like maybe she was a hunter's dog or something. Or, mm. I mean, she's fast. Like mm. she, she caught a chipmunk. Think about how fast chipmunks are. And she, and on a leash, by the way. So she's constrained by distance. You know. And you let this thing sleep in your house? We put a gate up at the bottom <laughs> of the stairs. Oh yeah, I'm sure that'll that'll. Although, by the way, it's just in one of life's weird coincidences. This morning, my wife got up, went downstairs. She took the gate off. Usually, I do it. I come down afterwards, and uh, I was awoken this morning by a gigantic black animal licking my face. It was ecstatic to find me in the bed, uh, and that's the first time that's ever happened. Hmm. And yeah, did I fear for my life in that moment? Absolutely. It was at my weakest, you know, defense, most defenseless. Yeah, she just shake me like a rag doll. That'd be the last you ever heard of me. That's yeah. how I'm going to go out, Brad. I'm telling you. This is so tragic for me. <laughs> um. <laughs> Anywho, it's a show, so let's discuss the Bengals, who won their first game yesterday somehow. Second. Oh, sorry. So I'd like to point out that the Bengals now have a better record than the Patriots. Barely. Okay. Barely, because the Patriots are two and five. So I guess you could maybe argue that they don't. Maybe they're tied. Anyway, if they were in the AFCs, they'd be in second place? Yeah, if, fortunately, <laughs> the conference they're in has the Steelers, which are seven and zero, oh, and then the Browns, crazy. which are like six and one and then like the sure. ravens that are like six and one it's like guys come on be, be worse uh but the Bengals, the patriots are two and five 
the Bengals are two five and one because they they. Are you sure they're not two they, and six? Tied. They, I don't know. It doesn't matter. They, they anyway. tied. Whatever. Anyways, yeah, the Bengals did win. I got to drink happy drinks instead of sad drinks, and um. Well, good for you. Yeah, I still think Burrow was the steal of the draft. Yes. Nobody said he was good. I was sitting there saying he's going to be a kid. So nobody listened to me. Anyways, be right, Tennis. Yeah, Tennis. Yeah, yeah, just a couple of Heisman trophies. He's fine. Um. <laughs> anyways, uh, Apple hasn't. Whoa, what? I have not seen this. Apple has an AirPod Pro problem. Yeah, apparently uh, models. I got off the top of my head. It's twenty twenty twenty. I don't remember October of last year, maybe mm-hmm. uh, earlier. They had, so like right when they were new. Yeah, if you have like a buzzing or problem or whatever. Apple will replace them for free. Oh, they're no longer saying it's your tinnitus. <laughs> they're just doing. <laughs> yes, they're just saying that uh, you know we just uh, we're not saying that it was a class action lawsuit. We're just saying we're doing the right thing for customers. Mm. And while you're in there getting those things fixed, you should sign up for Apple One because it's now available. Yeah. I, everyone, I, the feedback here generally is: I wish I could choose the. You know the, yeah. the services, right? And I completely get that. And who knows? Maybe they'll evolve it over time. But if you kind of look at how it's spread out, you're like, yeah, I can see why they did it this way. Like they mm-hmm. they want you to really pay to get. You know, the most desirable ones are across different things. So you have to basically pay. Yep. Twenty bucks a month or more. You know. Not get into those higher tiers. Yeah. I don't know. This is uh, not a concern for me, so I'm not going to worry about it. No. The other concern that you should have is it's a little. I know the time changed, but it's usually lighter now. And now you yeah, look, yeah. you're a little. So a couple of days ago, three, four days ago, the lamp there's a lamp up in the corner, and you know you you know you click it twice, it comes on, and mm-hmm. it makes that clicky sound. The light will flash on, and flashes off, flash on, flash off. So for a couple of days, like I would finally get it, like on the sixth or seventh try, and then like Saturday, Sunday, I'd click, 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 and I'm like all right, I got to replace this thing. I just haven't done it yet, so I'm gonna sit here in the dark. I guess I could turn on the ceiling light, but it's like right above my head. Speaking of things from yesterday, did you ever run that Ethernet cable? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's almost a year now. Still time. I have an Ethernet cable snaked across the floor. I literally, it, 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 let's see, whenever Mark came back from school, actually, was that March probably, whenever that was? Mm-hmm. I was so nervous about him being in the house um, with the Internet, you know, yeah. and, and just with the whole world working from home. I thought, sure. you know. And so I just ran the cable on the floor, and it's been there ever since. I think about this from time to time, of course. Um, my wife has, in the past couple of months, uh, fixed a toilet hmm. and fixed our dishwasher. And we have, a, like, a drain and a sink upstairs that doesn't, uh, you know, like you get the overflow thing. Like, there's yeah. something missing in there that if it overflows, it just pours into the bottom of the sink. And so that's her next task. And I was like, you know... When you're done with that, I have an idea. <laughs> I think you should move forward to electricity. <laughs> it's a shocking good time, let me tell you. So I, it will probably get done. Or we'll move. I don't know. <laughs> Why'd you move? Well, see this cable? Like, I didn't like it. So I went. <laughs> Things that just came up in my, um, I did, you know, I switched to the iPhone, you know, the review yeah. of the iPhone. And I guess I have like six contacts that for some reason are in iCloud. So I only see them on the iPhone. Mm-hmm. When I first configured it, those were the only contacts I saw. And one of them just says Gordon. And Gordon is the name of the guy who worked for the electrician that did all the work in our house. But he, this Gordon guy did most of it, and he was awesome. And he did something for us on the side. And I don't remember what it was, but basically to kind of avoid, you know, because it would have been super expensive otherwise. Yeah. He, um, he said, you know, if you ever need anything, just give me a call. And I kept his I have his number somehow because it's an iCloud. And I was like, you know, I bet Gordon could nail this Ethernet thing, but see, I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't succumb to the weakness. So, yeah, but you could go buy a drill. I have a drill. Like an, I probably have all the things. I, yeah, all, I, you, all you need is a drill and probably five eighths inch bit. You get right on through there. I want to do it right. You want to do the little cutout. You want to make sure it's measured. To the oh, right you want to put it like an actual jack in. I, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, not just running a. I want to actually have a. A jack out there, a jack, I guess it would be on one whatever side of the desk, and then I'd run the cable from there. So that is marginally more complicated than I was envisioning yeah. in my head, but not... I, mean, I, I could drill a hole in a wall and just run a yeah. cable. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm not, you know, no, I want to 
go down to the basement and kind of string up the cable correctly between the two jacks. And yeah, no, I'm if I do it, and I I shouldn't say if I I do I really do want to do it. I want to do it right, and that's why my wife has to get involved because I'm a freaking idiot. <laughs> I have nothing of value to add that's not going to hurt your feelings. 